Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On April 23, 2024, Russian Minister of Defense, Army General Sergei Shoigu, unveiled plans to bolster air defense capabilities for Russian forces stationed in Ukraine. This initiative involves deploying advanced missile systems including the S-500, S-400, S-300V4, Buk M3, and Tor M2U. The decision reflects Russia's commitment to safeguarding its troops against evolving aerial threats encountered in the Ukrainian theater of operations. According to General Shoigu, the reinforcement of air defense systems will encompass cutting-edge technologies such as the S-500, S-400, and upgraded S-300V4, alongside the Buk M3 and Tor M2U systems. Renowned for their precision and versatility in intercepting diverse airborne targets, these systems are poised to provide robust protection against potential aerial incursions. The S-400 Triumph system, operational since 2007, stands out as a formidable air defense asset capable of engaging aircraft, UAVs, and various missiles within a range of up to 400 kilometers. With the ability to simultaneously track and target up to 160 objects, it represents a pinnacle of air defense technology. Its successor, the S-500 Promedy, expands upon these capabilities, designed to intercept ballistic missiles and stealth aircraft at extended ranges, thereby augmenting strategic defense capabilities. The S-300V4, an advanced iteration of the S-300 series, boasts enhanced capabilities tailored to counter diverse aerial threats. With an interception range of up to 400 kilometers and improved radar systems, it can engage multiple targets with heightened accuracy, offering robust protection for strategic assets and troop formations. The Buk M3, an upgraded version of the Buk missile system, offers increased range, accuracy, and versatility in engaging a wide array of targets, including aircraft, cruise missiles, and UAVs. With the capability to track and engage multiple targets simultaneously, it enhances operational effectiveness in challenging environments. Similarly, the Tor M2U, a mobile short-range air defense system, provides enhanced capabilities in intercepting precision-guided weapons and fast-moving aerial targets at lower altitudes. Its advanced fire control components and resistance to electronic countermeasures make it a vital asset for frontline defense, ensuring the protection of critical military installations. General Shoigu stressed the strategic importance of bolstering air defense capabilities to safeguard vital military assets, including command centers and strategic nuclear forces, against evolving threats. The decision to enhance air defense systems in the context of the Ukrainian conflict is driven by the proliferation of drones, FPV technology, and loitering munitions, which pose precision threats to key assets. Additionally, the accessibility of these technologies to non-state actors underscores the need for robust countermeasures to mitigate vulnerabilities. By fortifying air defense capabilities, Russia aims to deter potential adversaries and maintain operational integrity in the face of modern warfare dynamics. The deployment of advanced missile systems underscores Russia's commitment to ensuring the security and effectiveness of military operations in Ukraine. That's all for now. See you later.